the main agents of instability in the so-called Middle East are Europe and its overgrown colony in North America. Since the Crusades, people there have every reason to be sick of the sight of us. Britain and France built instability into the region when Sykes and Pico drew its borders. It was Britain that planted the seeds of Israel's apartheid regime in Palestine, divide and rule just as they did in Ireland, and the West never had any qualms about backing dictators as long as they protected our interests. So how did overthrowing Massadeh promote stability? Was the Iran-Iraq war good for security? Did backing the Mujahideen cover us in glory? Every so-called Western intervention, the occupation of Iraq, the disaster of Afghanistan, the NATO bombing of Libya, the backing of Islamist extremism in Syria, Saudi's genocidal assault on Yemen, all produce seismic waves of instability that tremor down for decades, leaving broken countries, hobbled economies, violence, trauma and permanent conflict. And at the end of that, we stroke our chins, pretend we've nothing to do about it and ask how we, we are going to promote stability in the region. You have got to be joking.